Okay, what are we doing? Yes, 2009 FZN1. Was a sports cruiser ride. We just got this. We've done about 300 k's, maybe a bit more, and want to do a little review on it. So overall, I went out with the boys on Sunday, the Black All Range Riders, um, situated up the coast. And I know that when I go with those boys, they're all good riders. They all have different styles of bikes. They all know how to ride. Um, and it's a really fun day. And you get to do all types of riding. So a lot of back roads, a lot of bumpy roads, a bit of dirt. They always throw in a bit of dirt, so you've got to be prepared to do that as well. And how did the FZ go? Overall, really well. So the front tyre these let's see now can you see these are sport tech m7rrs this front one michelin they were really good and solid on the road okay back is the same starting to get out to the edge and that's the thing i know with the boys when I first met them everyone every tire was ridden every bike was ridden and that's what I liked about them so about 300 k's what do I dislike about this bike should I go there We won't rev it, we're just in front of a factory, we're about to go into Yamaha. It's got a really nice pipe on it and um, I put the camera there and it still hasn't got the quite the right noise, you need to get it back further and I go into that in a tick. So the boys took me for a good run and I really appreciate um, the fact that uh, I'm in the club and get to go on these bike rides every month and a uh, really decent lot of blokes and it's so good to go with competent riders and this bike got to I really got to check it out fuel consumption isn't as good as the others I had to pull off a little early um, and fill up but uh, it's not disgraceful uh, and I didn't, when I first went out there, I didn't fill it right to the top. So if you're going to do a long ride with a group, fill the tank right to the top. And I was changing down gears into corners and using less brakes and powering out of them. And, and perhaps if I um, had a little bit more throttle control, <laughs> I probably would have got a bit further as well. So two things I learned. Brakes are good. Tires are great. No real problems engine wonderful uh, let's see now the this has got a power commander in it these things uh, it seems to around four grand pickups so under four grand's a little bit sluggish now uh, after looking at a lot of videos and doing a bit of research I found out that the R1 engine in these and, and they call it detuned I guess slightly but it's still an R1 engine and what I found out was the ECU setup they've got in it First, second, and third, uh, they've advanced it or retarded in the fueling setup, uh, which makes it a bit sluggish. The Power Commander fixes a lot of it, but I believe that we can absolutely fix that up. And the front sprocket, you can change one down or two up or two up in the back or however you go about it. But uh, I saw a video of a guy, one down, and ECU flash, and I mean, the thing was motoring and that's not to say that this engine isn't very very fast this the ergonomics of this bike compared to so my last bike was an mt10 this is more down in the front and higher in the back when you ride it you sort of notice that the mt it's a bit higher in the front and it seems to just drop into the corners no problem at all really good so what didn't i don't i like about this well well the old um, the the older bikes, of course, the steering ignition is a bit a bit old, and so sometimes it's a bit hard to start. You've got to sort of push the key down to turn it to start it. 
uh, you can change out that barrel have two sets of keys because you're going to need one for the tank and one to lift up the seat uh, or just live with it and I'm just you know lubricate it a little bit to keep it all in the right place that's one thing now we were hunting the back roads quite vigorously and the uh, I think this is the standard suspension like this bike here I, I've only just got it with all the stuff on it and it started to get a little soft after an hour of really quite hot conditions and and pushing it a bit uh, overall I could look at a tune-up for that suspension there for most competent riders this would be more than enough for track day warriors that aren't you know up in the a grade team this bike would do it very very well everything is works well if for some reason you felt like you wanted to get up in the a grade team you probably wouldn't pick this bike but you could certainly do braided brake lines you could change the rotors you can do lots of things to improve it as this stands you have to be a very good rider to outperform this bike so what else didn't quite work this rear tail tidy doodah so basically that was put on there that was put on there uh, to get it roadworthy and that's all good but you can see all of this aftermarket Chinese crap well after the first bit of dirt and country country living it uh, it fell apart and this is broken off it and this fell off and this thing hit and pushed up and bent the plate and guess what guess what the good thing is I've got the original tidy tail in my backpack and I rang up Team Moto and I said to the boys fellas this tidy tail is a bit wrecked up and that's not good when you're riding it hit two bumps and that's the damage you've done so imagine if I hit any more bumps with it it's not going to be very good is it so Yamaha said bring the bike in no problems was we'll fix up the tidy tail, tidy tail or just put your old one on and I think I'll go that way I'll put the old one on it's in good condition I like the fact that it brings it back to originality and it turns this bike more into a sleeper and this bike really is a sleeper this is a very underrated bike people will look at this and go oh yeah that's 11 years old but I tell you what it's friggin hard to beat and if you work on those first three gears at the current moment it you know it picks up at four grand and then it just goes on and on and on and it sounds wonderful it is an inline four it's not the cross plane crank and so it gives me a different sound a very good bike for the money I couldn't fault it for the money very good bike and so the only thing I've found wrong with this bike is that rubbish there and so I'll put my original one on the second thing is I don't know whether you can see it I've got one bracket there for the camera I've got a second one further up inside I'll show you when I get it all set up for the tidy tail which was going to bring my camera my original mount I put the camera was here this next mount is going to bring the camera about here and look at that right over the pipe and now my, you know, my last video you got to hear the engine a bit but nothing like you're riding the object of my videos is I want you to come riding with me if I do a ride day video I want you to feel the exact same feeling I get the exact same noises When you've got a motorbike music giving you soul and everything it is from the inside out and that's what I want to do so you're gonna get when my ride videos authentic noise when you hear the bike and when you see a ride day video and you see a guy with a bike riding it do you want to hear his fucking wind noise 
blowing through his camera and then he has to add music or do you want to hear the heart and soul of a motorbike if you're stuck up in hospital and you're anywhere where you can't ride a bike you haven't been able to get a license whatever it is you come with me and we go riding and you get to feel what it's like on this particular bike cheers